Hey bros, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a cheap versus expensive fishing challenge. Is it worth the bang for your buck to buy a super expensive one or a super cheap one? And we'll do a bunch of different tests, but first I'll show you guys the prices. So, as you can see here, the lose is like $70, which is super expensive for a ultralight. And it's $69 is a good rod. So, now we're going to go to the Ozark Trails. The Ozark Trails is around $10, orange and blue. And you can get this on Walmart.com or whatever, and it's pretty cheap. And it's honestly really cool to see how cheap some of these rods are. $10? This one right here is worth like $70. And the first thing I want to talk about is like how collapsible they are, how like transportable they are. So this right here is a two piece rod. Super collapsible, most cheaper rods, like this is $10. The price category just like completely like busts the lose out of the water for price. But it's super collapsible, this is probably about the size of a yardstick. It's a good rod, it's collapsible, and Sometimes the more expensive rods and reels are not two pieces. My lose here is not a two piece. This is a like one long one piece rod. It's both these are ultra lights, but they are both good in some way or another. But I'm gonna have to give the like transportation category is gonna go to the two piece. Ozark Trails. So sensitivity is one of those things that every fisherman looks for in their rods. Because if, how do you know if you have a fish if you don't have a, like, a super sensitive rod and reel? So as you can see, this one is not too, it's not too sensitive. Like not really sensitive at all. It's pretty, it's pretty thick for a like ultralight. It's not the best. It's, it will work. It's not the best though. But this right here, Look how sensitive that is. Like, this is like wire thin. This is like, it's crazy. So, sensitivity category, I'm going to give to the lose, which is typical that more expensive rods and reels are going to have better quality stuff in them. No shade on Ozark Trails because it's still really good for $10. But the next thing I want to talk about is look, some fishermen want to have the flashiest stuff possible. And I know I am a victim of that. I like to have the flashiest and most expensive looking rods possible because it makes you guys think I'm an absolute pro, which I am. But you can see the lose is super nice. Like that is such a nice rod and reel. Like, look at that. And later in the video, we're going to go out to Fay Lake and test these, see which one can catch the most fish, the biggest fish, and who can reel them in the best, which is going to be five minutes for both of them. So that is really cool. But the lose looks so much better, in my opinion, than this one right here. This is Ozark Trails. It's a nice little orange thing. They also come in blue, which blue is actually pretty slick looking. But I'm gonna have to give looks to lose. Next thing is line capacity. They're pretty much the exact same line capacity because they're like 2,000 to 1,000 size reels. I'm not exactly sure because they don't have like the number on them that I can see at least because they're so tiny. So I'm going to give a tie for that. So far it looks like I don't, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back and edit. It should be right here on the screen. If loser is winning right now and what score it has and then uh, Ozark Trails, it's probably somewhere like four to three or something like that. But right away, I would say if you're just a casual fisherman, you fish like with your buddies, or you go fishing fresh water for a little bit. I would suggest getting the Ozark Trails first and foremost because it's it's ten dollars. It's cheap. And if you are a fisherman that fishes a lot and you want a sensitive rod, I would go with this. But for the final test to see which one is the best, we're gonna go out to Fay Lake. So I'll see you guys at the lake. Good, bro. I think we're getting a bite here. Yeah, we're definitely getting a bite. 
There's a fish. Ooh, look at that action Ooh. on that. Ooh. That is a nice little mine cichlid. It ain't gonna do much for the length for the expensive, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. If he will stop flopping, I can actually measure him. Five inches. So it's five inches for both of those mine cichlids. And now we'll do the cheap one to see if it can catch a bigger fish. Okay, Rob, so we're going to cast this out, and the first two fish we catch, we're going to measure them, and those will be the two fish for the challenge. And as you can see, this catch really well. This is the lose. We always, I always like to start out with my lose when I'm fishing for just any freshwater fish because the lose is just a great option. As you can see, it's a lot of fish. Oh, there's a bite right there. Let's see if I can get him. Ooh, came off. Let's put another piece of bread on there. Yeah, just to put the pieces right here so I don't have to bend back down. So, as you can see, the sensitivity was really, really good with the lose. So, it's just a great thing with more expensive rods. It's sensitivity, sensitivity, as I said this morning. Let's cast straight down. If I can get a mine cichlid before the mosquito fish just tear it up. Oh, looks like there's a fish. There's a fish. There it is. As you can see, this thing is reeling in like a champ. So super smooth. So that is a mine cichlid. We're going to measure this mine cichlid. Where is there my measuring tape? So must add measuring tape. We're going to measure our little mine cichlid here. He is a total of, well, five inches. So five inches for the first fish for the lose. Now see you guys when I catch another one. Over rats, this is the Ozark Trails. We're gonna try to catch a fish with this. I have a weight on this one just because the bluegill and stuff, or not the bluegill, the mosquito fish are just tearing my stuff apart. So as you can see, it is tangled pretty bad around that part, and I, I don't really have much sensitivity. I can get in a bite. I can tell because I'm looking at the line. There's not much sensitivity there. Can't even tell if I have a fish. Do I? Nope, I do not. That's the only bad thing about cheaper rod guys is your sensitivity is not good. But it's a cheap rod. It's five bucks, so. <laughs> Drop it straight down. As you can see, there's just like an army of mosquito fish trying to get it before a bigger, bigger fish. I think there may be a fish. I can't tell. Sensitivity wise. Is there? Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> well. I think we know which rod won the big fish. Won the big fish award. I. I. Ah. But look at that. Oh, don't go in the water so I can measure you, sir. Perfect. So I'm going to measure our boy, Mr. Tilapia here. See how big he is. He's probably like eight inches or so. Yep, eight inches. And more like eight and a half, but heck yeah, guys. Look at that. That's a tilapia. I don't really catch too many of these out here, but they're really cool when you can. Let's let him go. Here are rats. See, we got a bite here. Yep. Oh my gosh. 
that is the tiniest minor stick that I have ever caught in rod and reel. I'm not gonna even measure him. He's like an inch. Like that is crazy. So the final test will be coming up soon. A group of rats. So we're gonna do the casting now. See which one casts the furthest. So first let's start out with the loose. Out. That's pretty far for just a little bit of a cast, and I completely missed an eyelet on one of these things. So that went probably 20 yards or so. Didn't tangle, so this is. It also is not going to go as far because I forgot to put it the eye in correctly. Now let's do the Ozark Trail. <laughs> oh, there's a fish, guys. Huh? I'll get it in a minute. So we're going to cast this one out. So this one is not as good casting. You can see it went right there. It's not as good and the reel isn't the best either. But it's not too bad. I'm going to reel in that fish on that rod real quick so it's not on there and going to hurt himself too bad. Reel. There's a fish. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. Is that a tilapia or a bluegill? Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a bluegill. Well, that's cool. Didn't expect that. Good bluegill, too, guys. That's a straight up panfish. But in the very end, you can say that both of them tied a 4v4. Or a 4v4. It just depends on your needs for rods. If you're a fisherman that fishes all the time, the lose is the best option for you. But if you're just a casual fisherman that's looking for something very cheap, I would go with our buddy over here, the Ozark Trails. See you guys next episode of River Rat Life.